Welcome to Radiant Reflections, an audio transformative journey hosted by me, Rob Cook. I hope today's topic inspires you to have the day you deserve. Welcome to day 11, the power of forgiveness. If we really want to love, we must learn how to forgive, Mother Teresa. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. Martin Luther King Jr. I think using both of those quotes show that it's widely recognized that forgiveness and love are tied hand in hand. But I think what many don't know is in which direction that flows. Forgiveness starts first and foremost with forgiving yourself. And we don't know that sometimes. That until we forgive ourselves, we can't forgive others. And maybe you don't think there's anything to forgive yourself for. But if you are having a hard time forgiving someone else, there is something. Maybe it's subconscious right now. But there is something, a thought, that you're holding against yourself. For me, 2014 to 2015 were the darkest days of my life. Um, there were some moments in which I felt wrong, I felt betrayed, I felt like um, I'd lost everything. Relationships, financial status, you know, social status even. And it wasn't until the moment that I realized I had no one to blame for any of this but myself. And that's a long story for another day, another time, you have to read the book, but <laughs> My point is that I had to forgive myself first. I had to have some compassion with myself about the things, the decisions that I had made. Because at the moment in which I made them, I thought they were the best thing that I should do at that time, whether reckless or stupid. And so I had to have compassion with myself for the ignorance in making those decisions. And that set me on a path that allowed me to forgive. In true forgiveness, though, there were a few things that I learned. There were a range of psychological and social benefits to it. You know, I had better mental health. Um, I didn't have as much stress. There were these four other things that I learned that I want to share with you because I think two of them are, are kind of debunking a myth. Most people think that when they forgive, they have to forget, meaning that the abuse would continue to happen. That's not true. Actually, that's the furthest from true. Which brings me to my next point, that forgiveness doesn't mean that you condone or agree. That brings me to my next point of that forgiveness doesn't mean that you condone or agree with the acts or the behaviors. It just means you're no longer willing to hold yourself hostage to this way of thinking about it. Harming yourself, running the real, living in the pool of resentment and carrying that weight but you don't have to agree with it. And that gives you freedom from the weight of resentment because that emotional burden, man, it, it was hard. It was dark because I was just so angry. I can't, mostly with myself, but that, that anger that, that I needed to forgive myself for created a restoration in my guide you know it's kind of like forgiveness is is crucial for repairing the system you know it's like how you get back to being able to trust to have mutual respect for one another to, to have healthier connections in your life those are the four things i learned that forgiveness absolutely has nothing to do with the people who may have wronged or harmed us but everything to do with the way we're going to move about in our lives afterwards. And for practical application, I want you to take a look at someone that maybe you need to forgive. But remember, maybe that someone is you. <laughs>